What is up, everybody? It's me, Sean Tanktop, and I'm over here at Casa de Tanktop. We are do we are doing Manly Movie Monday, a spooky edition, though. Spooky time, especially for for Halloween. Scott, it's Angel, it's Alex. How are you guys doing over there? Scared. Oh. Scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bringing it. You're, you're you're importing a little a little crossover from. I think literally the first thing when we when we because um, we do the Game of Thrones uh, reactions with Angel and stuff like that. And I think Angel says this about. I don't know. I'd say like maybe fifty percent, half the episodes. It's like, how you feeling, Angel? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but this one is like this is a pretty decent one to be afraid about because we are talking about it's a, it's an absolute classic. Like not even just a, like a classic scary movie. This is like one of the great movies. Like, yes. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. The Exorcist, 1973, directed by William Friedkin, who we've done a couple of different videos. We just did um, To Live and Die in L.A., which was directed by him. Which was excellent. Fucking awesome. Very, movie. very good. Yeah, and then he's also done, like, The French Connection, and also Sorcerer, good. and a bunch of other films. And so, but this is like, you know, and we were just talking with, you know, we were just kind of doing the rundown of all of his films, and you let it slip, like, Scorty, that, that you hadn't seen The Exorcist, Never man. seen it. Uh, and, like, a lot of very, like, visually iconic films. Mm. I, like, know scenes from it, like The Girl in the Bed, and right. Priests. Right, but I've never, I've never, I've never seen it. I've right, never seen right, it. yeah. This is this is very similar to one of our uh, like when we went to go see The Shining. And yes, you, and, and which is just like, but you would just the 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 cultural touchstones were almost were just so ubiquitous. It was there were things about it you felt like you had even already seen it in a, in a certain. Yeah, sense. although I mean, like I said, this one exists in such broad strokes that I'm on the I'm going to be on the edge of my seat. I'm excited to check oh, this out. Oh yeah, absolutely, An Angel. You're like a, a bona fide spooky bitch, yeah. right? <laughs> and you've never seen this one. Is it just it just never got around to it, or I, just, I have to be a poser? Apparently, no, you don't have to be a poser. I think I think oh, there's also like I think there's different flavors of horror you that people. See what they call me on the comments. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I don't know shit about fuck. <laughs> What are your impressions of this movie? Like what? I know um, Nicki Minaj referenced it in the VMAs. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Um, okay, cool. So I'm I'm really excited to, yeah. see, to see her. Hello, my child. <laughs> Halfway through the film, Monster starts playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dark, twisted fantasy. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> I'm a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, and now you. it's a lifestyle. Yeah. William Peter Blatty, who wrote the, who based it on a real case that he read about and researched and then kind of made this book, like wrote this book that heightened it a little bit, obviously. Huh. Like when he saw how realistic and the attention to detail that Friedkin brought to the French connection, hmm. he was like, I need that type of a thing to make this stuff as believable as we can in the lead up to the crazier things that we have kind of going on in the film. It's an so. interesting pedigree. It's interesting, it yeah. really is. And they, and they actually have, they have a beautiful off camera relation. They're like an old bickering couple and stuff like grandma and grandpa and stuff like that and shit. And so- One day you I know, hope to like, be an old bickering <laughs> quadruple with you man. guys. <laughs> We're watching a classic, man. This is, this is what it's all about, y'all. It's like when you find, when your buddies tell you they haven't seen like a bona fide fucking banger of a fucking, of a, of a movie. You get, you get to you get to get together you and get them. Insta right, no. <laughs> we bring them to a TV. <laughs> we show them the instead movie. of doing on Saturday. I feel like so. Angel and I are about to get got. Yeah, you we're know? like in the middle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no. Like, no, 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 no. Like, we'll, like we'll be right there with you. So, um, I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready to jump into this thing. You guys Let's ready to go? It. Let's I'm go. So Hell ready. yeah! All right, we appreciate you guys very much for hanging out with us as we watch The Exorcist. If you guys want to get early and uncut access to all of our Manly Movie Monday stuff, including the full and uncut reaction to this um, uh, particular motion picture. You guys can do that by becoming a part of our Patreon. The link's in the top end comment in the description below. You click that, you head on over to the feature film tier and that gets you full and uncut access to all of our feature film coverage. This guy's about to jack off. What if he puts his cock okay. in Okay. Oh. 
Okay, okay, grab that. Somebody take, okay, somebody take the hand. No, no cookie, cookie girl. Stay away. Cookie, no, no. cookie, no, no, cookie, no, 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 bad no, girl, no, no, bad no. girl. What, you guys get a ton of stuff over there for a pretty damn fair price, but if you can't do that, and you still wanna help us out, you can hit us with a like, a subscribe. Ring the bell thing, because that shit always helps, it never fucking hurts. Appreciate you guys for hanging out with us. Sean, I learned something from you talking about, I didn't know this was set in DC. It's in Georgetown. Yeah, the, like in DC. Is Georgetown DC? That's a place in DC. Like okay, Georgetown. then you're probably right. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. So Dude, I guess. Really get in it. Hold really on. Get into Before, it. Sometimes it's about <laughs> really get into it. And shit like that, you know? Before we get too far into this, two things need to be said. Angel is a spooky movie expert, yeah. and I am a little baby bitch. Boy. <laughs> I never watch these things. They right. scare the shit out of me. <laughs> I feel like we're doing Indiana Jones again. We right? start, mm -hmm. and they, because and they, it was early enough before things had completely deteriorated and everything like that in mm. Iraq. Wow, okay. Did not see this coming. Yeah. Mm. Like freaking, it, it's a it's a really awesome uh, commentary track. It's one of my favorite ones, just because I enjoy how the man speaks and everything like that. Talk, like had to meet with Saddam Hussein. Oh my like god! That, like like the whole thing. Like, <laughs> crazy. Like, well, yeah. So Saddam was like, I don't know if I can make this movie. Let you make this movie here, yeah, man. It was like, the legendary Max von Sydow. Oh, who played, yeah. Who was who was. Uh, he didn't Game of Thrones at some point. Ooh. Yeah, Lindy. Yeah, yeah. When worlds collide. Mm. <laughs> oh, in there again. Classic horror. It's just like there's a hole I need to put my. Hand in. <laughs> but that is like. But that is like. It, I mean, like it, it is like what like archaeologists do. Like I go into places where dead things are and I, I reach stick in my hand in. You know what I mean? Like. Oh man. <laughs> I definitely feel like that Ralph Wiggum uh, <laughs> gif where he's like, haha, I'm in danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> Is that my lord? I want to go. <laughs> no, it's for Nick. Right? You can see why his hands are shaking. Like, <laughs> What do you think he's taking, though? I don't know. It's like a nerve Quite film, maybe? I don't know. Also, it's pretty fucking crazy he that he, he was only like 40 when he made this the, some of the most convincing old man old person makeup i've ever seen whoa, whoa. he yeah. looks like he looks he looks like he looks, he looks old never it's even thought about down. that no, no no because everybody kept like he's kept getting casting calls for old guys but he's like but then he'd show up he's this tall six foot four date you know swedish like whatever and they're like what and he was like yeah that's just because the makeup is like yeah. that, that is phenomenal. It's the best old person makeup like ever. I would have wow. never, I would have never guessed. So crazy. Shaylan, you hot of Shaylan. Oop. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's that weird, freaky fucking Charles Manson shit. He just looks at your fucking watch and then it just stops. You know, like. Why did I agree to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already so deeply uncomfortable. Oh my god. You were talking about Indiana Jones. He kind of strikes me as yes. like an Indiana Jones. He's literally an archaeologist. Yeah. Like, kind of rolling around. I mean, obviously. He's just tired. <laughs> yeah. Still no, nowhere near as old as Harrison Ford actually is. This, like, ma this makeup is still blowing my mind. It's yeah, fucking wild. insane. He moves like he's been around for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he seems tired. Do you like the bullet? Like, no, no, no. It's a great physical performance. I laid it down. What the fuck is going on? I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just like, that one guy's like, He's like just oh, bring, I didn't get to shoot anybody just, today. Just bringing my Jeep back from Barnet to let Indy borrow man. it. I think that was the icon. Yeah, that was the little one that he found. Yeah, I'll say that that whole thing felt like a curse, like vibe, like something unsettling had gone on. Something, something is a something is is has permeated the space. <laughs> yeah. You know, like... Do you think it was the specific thing that he picked up? Or... Oh, you've know. seen it. Fuck. What do you think? <laughs> is it the thing? No. Like, is it a talisman, or is it a personal curse, or is it like a? I don't know. I don't know. Cock ring. <laughs> <laughs> 
little cock ring. It's whenever candy. people pick up shit that doesn't belong to them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about the yeah. museum industry. <laughs> <laughs> Sweats in British right now. Yeah, no shit. It's Ellen Bernstein, the great Ellen Bernstein. Um, Quite an evening outfit. Did you guys ever see uh, Requiem for a Dream? Yes, I have. The, she mom, the mom, the Five. mom, thinking about the television and the red dress and the, you know and all that shit. With the makeup on, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baba <Dude. laughs> Movies are supposed to be fun. <laughs> we're gonna get, we're definitely gonna get, uh, have a, more than a couple Kaitel. Like, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> Say the word. Say the goddamn word. Say the goddamn word. Yeah. You're gonna be okay. Oh, God. Morning. Morning. Hey, she got a freaking skillet stuff to her? That's awesome. Yeah, man. Was that Linda Blair? Yeah, is, is that's this, Linda Blair. Okay. That's her daughter. Oh, Carl, we've got rats in the attic. You better get some traps. Okay, I think it's cute. All right, then we've got clean rats. What a cool boss. <laughs> <laughs> what if I treated my staff like they weren't human at all? Shit. Right. <laughs> William Peter Blatty, the guy who wrote the book. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, the guy with the mustache? Right the guy with the stash, yeah. So she is an actress. Yes. I love a movie in a movie. Isn't that kind of, that's always a fun, like, moment, you know, like. <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, it's called the Tubular Bells, and it's just, it's from just like a prog rock record from this one band, like, Ooh. and that's it. But they just, they just like how it. Band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, love, like, I guess a single mom comes home, just immediately has a glass of brandy. Oh, yeah, and, you know, absolutely. Like, <laughs> She's an artist, Scott. That's right, yeah. <laughs> It's a really cute girl. Look at her. For now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, me too. This is like not, this is like a tween, right? Like a, She's 12. A 12 year old? Yeah. She's 12, like yeah. right on, right on. Yeah, you guys should really f immediately care about her right now. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've never not cared about her. <laughs> <laughs> There's that kind of hot, sad priest again. Yeah. Jason Miller. This is one of the, I think this is like the first, I think it's like the first movie that he ever did. Ever. Really? Yeah. I feel like being a priest and all, you should help him out, man. Like, right? <laughs> Oh, she's super Italian. Yeah. I'm alright. This makes me think like Marty Scorsese was involved in this. I'm, I'm sure he lived down the fucking hallway. <laughs> I mean, like. It took me a second to get there, but he's a smash. Yeah. 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 For sure. I mean, he's a man of God. You know, the hot, the hot priest <laughs> thing. You've seen Fleabag. Come on. <laughs> it's a great show. You understand me? This is my house, and I'm not going to no place. Yep. I, I might have been mistaken. Maybe he doesn't live with his mom. I think he's visiting. It's possible that he's visiting her. Oh, okay. Maybe, but I, I might be mistaken. I might. I, I haven't seen this movie in probably like maybe close to 10 years. Yeah. Honestly. I mean, it is funny that this started off with us making fun of him, but it's obvious he's a very dutiful son. Yeah. You know? Right. You started making fun of him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The the royal we. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, to be clear, I was the one uh, mocking the impoverished, well meaning man of God. That kid a load of this asshole. <laughs> and he leaves money for her. That's okay. Yeah. When I'm on his side. No, fuck. Yeah, of course. Hey, where'd this come from? Yes. I found it. Classic. Well, let's well, oh. oh, fuck. You really don't want me to play, huh? No, I do. Captain Howdy said no. Captain Howdy, do you think my mom's pretty? So I can say no. Captain Howdy, that isn't very nice. Well, maybe sleeping. You think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no father in the home so, though, right? Yeah. Like it's, this isn't like he's away on a business trip. Yeah, just... and, and also the other thing that's like a little, it, it's, she's an actress, she's making this film on location. Yeah. This is not 
their actual home. Oh, they're renting it. You know, like you know, oh. like like to, to you know, because they'll be on set for making a movie for two to three months or something like that, and so. I did not put that together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right sure. That's why it's like like she's going around and she's finding stuff that in the house. That right, she like the know rats about. in the attic. Right, right. right. Yeah. Mm. Angel, you're a little bit of a, a horror aficionado. Is possession a pretty common trope in horror know. films? Like, oh, I yeah. love a good possession. Movie. There's so, a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, more yeah than a and this is like this the, the ground zero yeah. for for that in the modern sense for sure. Oh yeah! I oh forgot. dude, the Priest mugs can drink. too, man. Oh, oh boy, how look at this shit! <laughs> <laughs> can you believe this? He doesn't even call his daughter on her birthday for Christ's sake. Oh, he's, sure. he's, he's a liar. He's not dead. He no. Shit. Yeah. Estranged. Hello. Yes. I will say, as a child of divorce, that this rings with me. You know, sure, man. Like, or, or even just, just, just listening to the adults, yep. like, have, like, quarrel and shit like that. It's just, you know, like, you don't say nothing, you're just listening and shit. Like, it's... I can't get to sleep. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you know, like... Eh. Maybe it's the rats. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, when you're hoping for rats. <laughs> <laughs> I... This film's gonna fuck me up. I can already <laughs> feel it. I'm like already imagining myself as that girl because the divorce thing, though. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, yeah. How dare you take advantage of my feelings like that? I know, right? <laughs> Girl, don't do it. Because <laughs> one of us goes in and we all go through it. Oh, it's terrifying. This in theaters would have been crazy. Yeah. Not right. Nothing's been eaten. See, at this point, I feel like I'm just negotiating. I hope I don't die. Oh, oh fuck. What a butthole. Are they gonna explain the, the fire? Is there a gas leak? Like, nobody cares that I, it just I, like I, blew up. No, like no, that's that. what I'm saying. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, this is not okay. <laughs> right. like, I love how they kind of they kind of get away with the jump scare without a big musical sting. Yeah. To power it. It was the, like, yeah. the thing, you know. Ooh, man. That's the scariest part of this whole fucking yeah. movie. Yeah, no shit. Sure. Right? It's amazing though. It's I'm on, I'm so on edge. It feels like everything is bothering me right yeah. now. Yeah. Man, medicine has come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably just an EK. Oh. Can you feel this? I don't feel anything. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Midwest this emo, what? Midwestern emo starts <laughs> playing. <laughs> Did you see her hat? I'm sorry, was I the only one who saw that? Oh yeah, it was so beautiful. beautiful. Oh. <laughs> it's if I'm minding my own business was a person. <laughs> like, they pay, they pay me to clean this. That's yeah, that's all I'm doing. Like, that white girl seems pretty fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> like, just, just white people. <laughs> I think the best explanation is always the simplest. Well, we'll wait. We'll wait and see. Have her do some cocaine about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here's speed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, this is not a chill place. I do no. not feel comfortable no, 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 no. right now. It's been a Huh? Why the difference for me, Demi? And why? Can't you put us someplace else? Like what? Private hospital? Who got the money for that, Demi? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Are we going up the smash scale? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I could see it. I could see it for a <laughs> you know? So we haven't really even gotten into the depths of like the. Well, the thing of this movie, this movie is about the people in this movie. That's what movie. I was, that's exactly like, what I was about to they're say. They're really making sure that you know who they are and what their lives are about and everything. Well, and I feel like I can see how the priest is going to meet this family. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, like, there's no all of a sudden he shows up. Right. right? It's not like, hello, priests? Yeah. <laughs> I looked in your other pages. Like you they're see? running in yeah. each other's orbit and shit like that, but. Oh, my God. 
I, I think we've got a guest. You're gonna die up there. Oh. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's been sick. She didn't know she was sick. Talk about a one-two punch of putting a damper on the fucking party. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like, although it's like when you absolutely positively need your guests to leave, right. you know, right. say you're all gonna die up there and piss yourself in front of everyone. Like, also just, like, these hard cuts and everything like that. Like, it just kind of, like, stops. Like, you don't know what then... the fuck just ha was going to ha happen yeah, right now. Yeah, right. Shaking of the bed, that's doubtless due to muscular spasms. The whole bed was bumping and rising up the floor and shaking the whole thing. And you know what? Uh, and also, it's just like, he's not, he's like, yeah, 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 sure. It was, it was that, you know what I mean? Like, they're well, not really. Well, it's also very, it's what I would say no, if I was a fucking No, no one would believe it. <laughs> right, you know what I mean? yeah. Like, and look, Doc, I really don't understand how her whole personality could change. She met a guy who plays a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> the, I'm imagining the possessed girl screaming, It's not a fact! <laughs> I'm in my demon era! <laughs> So again, like, you know, like we've had in other films that we've seen of his where you know, they're really printing money, they're really yes. testing heroin, yeah. and like now we're doing a, a basically like as, as accurate of a literal spinal tap. Oh. Oh, man. And another crazy thing, notice the studded bracelet that this guy has on. Okay. We'll have some interesting trivia for you at the end of at, at the end of the of the movie. Oh man. I feel she's so she looks so fragile. Yeah. And yeah. like literally exposed. You know, I like, mean there's yeah. so much testing being done. Right. right. And, yeah. like, and, and like her features are so round and right. stuff like yeah. that, you know, like Okay. You're gonna feel some pressure here. No, don't move. Uh I don't wanna see this. Oh fuck. Oh. oh fuck. Well this also works from a filmmaking perspective cuz I definitely believe they did everything medical at this point. Th these are all real these are all real doctors. Yeah, but like the like, mom, yeah, you yeah. know, her decision, she's like we're going to go to the doctor. This hey. is a serious operation. We are getting a, we are we are What, are, what, are we, what is this? Is what do we need this for? We are, we are no like they're exhausting like every single explanation. That's what I'm it's gonna be a, And that's it's, the, that's it's the, an inside polaroid. That's the fr right. Oh, man, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 <laughs> the sound design is off its ass in this. Like, I'm, I'm terrified. Uh. So was that imaging the stuff they put in her brain? So, yeah, I think it's so, so they can see like, what's going on. How they're able to take x-rays at okay. that point. There's the breaking point you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever said that? Like, <laughs> that was terrifying. Yeah, man. All of it felt like I was in the room yeah, for like, it, well, though. You know, because there, be, this movie is not—it's not behaving like a horror movie. Pathological states can induce abnormal strength. We're still Except going with that. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> now I know the temptation to lead to psychiatry. But any reasonable psychiatrist exhausts the somatic possibilities first. That's and what he just said is like cold, that's... but true. You yeah, know? Like... yeah. Dr. Tanny says the x rays are negative. Are you planning to be home, sir? I mean, uh, fell I mean. Now he's starting to kind of really his resolve is hey, starting to. Can you just to get fade. the fuck out of but, here? Like, well, no, but he, he just like, I don't know what the oh, fuck yeah. to do. No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that was the cheapest thing in a copy. <laughs> mm. 
This film makes me really feel for the mother too. Oh yeah, right? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from it's it's ultimately kind of from her perspective. Suppose he heard. Heard what? Brooke's dead. He must have been drunk. He fell down from the top of the steps right outside. By the time he had M Street, he was dead. Was he dead? broke his neck. So um, her director died outside of her apartment? She and he was, was watching her? But he was watching The Raymond, child. And the window was open. <gasps> oh. oh my god. <laughs> 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 Movies are supposed to be fun. <laughs> Hello, mom. I'm yeah. scared. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. No Keep shit. I'm, I'm at the Burlington. I'm right. terrified. <laughs> Is there someone inside you? If I ask him to tell me, will you let him answer? No. Why not? I'm afraid. Goes without saying, Linda Blair, one of the great child yeah. performances of all time. I'm yeah. like, blown away. I think you know. she's been excellent. Yeah. Are you the person inside of Ray? Grab his dick and twist it! Oh my god. Oh, dick twist! You noted it earlier, all these cuts to silent new scenes yeah. with very little musical or any Not, accompaniment. None. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's just so, it's just keeping you, like, unnerved and then, or just, like, Cranking the tension and then releasing it. Yeah, like, you know. I, I'll say this, maybe just to distract myself from the terror that I'm feeling. <laughs> uh, Friedkin has now directed The French Connection, The Exorcist, and To Live and Die in L.A. Yeah, and I feel really thankful that we had the opportunity to revisit his stuff. Already. Yeah, absolutely. This is, this is excellent. Yeah, the director of this, ju he just died this year. Yeah, oh, damn. Yeah, and he's the, he's the meanest, messiest bitch. I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> he's great. It's not even a blip. It's not a a pimple on on the asshole of humanity. I don't give a flying fuck into a rolling donut about what Al Pacino thinks. Is that an answer to your question, Greg? <laughs> we love him. We love him. Yeah. Burke Dennings, good father, was found at the bottom of those steps leading to M Street with his head turned completely around. The demon killed that dude, threw him mm -hmm. out the window. That is what happened. Yeah. Didn't happen in the fall. It's possible. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this kind of sickness, you know that. I don't know anyone fits that description. And I'm not no fucking rat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the fucking rat, all right? I'm not the fucking rat. Not to bother you with trivia, but a psychiatrist was put in jail for not telling the police what he knew about a patient. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, I mentioned it only in passing. I could always tell the judge it was a matter of confession. Nice. I mean, yeah. yeah. He ate that. Yeah. Yeah. I hate to go alone. Yeah, I love to talk, film, discuss. <laughs> it's just us, right? <laughs> I, I love his style of interrogation. Though, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? He's like, I'm not going to yell at you. <laughs> you know, like you can read yeah, between the lines here. Yeah. So he went all the way down. Yeah, don't want to sound like an idiot, but could have snapped his neck backwards. It could have, you know. it could have, but... Well, you sound like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a stupid, dumb cop, <laughs> Now get on board with this exorcism, <laughs> right? Might your daughter remember, perhaps, if Mr. Dennings was in her room that night? How might she remember? When she was heavily sedated. It's serious. He's very good at withholding information from the other characters that he talks to. He already knows all this, yeah. you know. The servants, they have visitors, groceries, uh, cleaning, a package. I really would not see Carl take care of all that. It's because he's a secret Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he has suspicion still, or is he kind of I think, just... I mean, I, of course he does. I think I he's thinking think the, the butler because... It, He's probably gonna find out about them. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's r oh my god. Yeah. They got into a fucking fight. Where there's that's like right. there's a there's a there's a slight bit of probable cause. Motive. Mo motive. Motive. Yeah. Yeah. Motive. Sorry. Sorry. Motive. Yeah, yeah. Motive. Yeah. <laughs>
The Conjuring. <laughs> oh! You know what she did? Your canting daughter! <laughs> Movies are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Movies are so bad. <laughs> that is terrifying. I never want to think about that again. Oh that my was, god. That was mean? terrible. I'm Father Karras. I'm very sorry. Hello. So I should have told you I wouldn't be in uniform. Yeah, that would have helped. We should cut this into a rom-com trailer between these two. <laughs> these two. Hey, do you have a life? Oh, no, this <laughs> summer. <laughs> or like flea bag flea bag the prequel. Like <laughs> like You're a friend of Father Dyer's, right? Yes I am. Did he talk to you about my party? He sure did. You know, he has a good demeanor for oh, a priest though. You yeah. Know? No, I didn't know you had one. She pissed didn't on my floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mention Priests are pretty tight knot then, huh? That depends. <laughs> hey. Oh, <my>. Hey. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> How do you go about getting an exorcism? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Beg your pardon? <laughs> The most casual little, yeah. you know. Just trying to drop it. You could do it yourself. No, I couldn't. I need church approval, and that's rarely given. <sighs> the Catholic Church, everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. Almost, we we almost, want almost, to believe. Almost, <laughs> almost, almost a mindless <laughs> amount of fucking bullshit bureaucracy. The world, like, and they sent me to you, now you're going to send me back to them? To help her jump over! <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Like she fucked herself with a cross. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, 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 yeah, maybe, like, maybe, maybe lead with that and then <laughs> like. Oh my god. Fuck. Hello, lady. I'm a friend of your mother's. I'd like to help you. You want to loosen the straps? Well, then let's introduce ourselves. I'm Damien Carroll. And I'm that devil. Now kindly undo these straps. Kindly. Kind of the devil why not make the straps disappear. That's most of all good display of power, Carroll. Look at uh, how the room has changed, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your mother sits here with this Carroll. Would you like to leave a message? Holy shit. Then you must know my mother's maiden name. What is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ugh. Everybody talks about how this movie's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? People, some people think that this movie's just a laugh riot. So, like, I, I think because I am bought into it completely, yeah. I'm on the edge You're of emotionally this. bought into yeah. it, you know what I mean? Like, you could play it for laughs, but it's very scary to me. It's very fraught, yeah. you know? Only against the possibility of doing your daughter more harm than good. Nothing you can do could make it any worse. She made do. valid points. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you that that thing upstairs isn't my daughter. You tell me you know for a fact that an exorcism wouldn't do any good. You tell me that. You were talking about like just to the brink. Like yeah. I got, I got nothing left. Did Reagan know a priest was coming over? No. Did you know my mother died recently? Is Reagan aware of it? Not at all. That's what would fuck me up. Well, yeah. It's not important. Good night. <laughs> Neat. He's saying that to keep her. Yeah. Could he be like, well, maybe it's something. I'll talk to you later. You yeah. Know I mean? like, you know I mean? It like, could be worse than you know, actually. Right, right. Uh, later. <laughs> I'm Bye. shitting Deuces. my pants. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, TTYL. Yeah. Uh, what an excellent day for an exorcism. You'd like that? But wouldn't that drive you out of Reagan? Yeah, but bring us together. You and Ray. You and us. I like that the demon speaks in a plural mm -hmm. sense. Yep. You know, we, us. What, dude? What more? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like... What's that? Holy water. <laughs> it burns! Oh my gosh. The multiple voices yeah, coming out of her. Like, so good. Only okay. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Unbuckling the collar. Oh, I love, I, I love that shit. He's just like, what the fuck did I just look at? And you can see it on him. That's you know. Right, I'll take it straight. That's fine. No, that's fine. Please sit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pitch. Give me that drink. <laughs> <laughs>
I have had a day. <laughs> right. I, it, it's also kind of fun that they make it like not an open and shut case. Like, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's well, the uncertainty and the ambiguity and like right. it works on your nerves. You're, right. Like I said, everyone is trying to figure out anything but the yeah. answer. Because mm -hmm. the oh. language, the language is bringing him in, but the the fake holy water is like, what? What's going exactly. on here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's interesting, we've been in this house a lot, mm. but I, I haven't gotten bored of it yet. No. You know, like... Just keep expecting something to happen every time they go up the stairs. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are here. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, this is a deeply, this is a scary as fuck film, but it was not what I was expecting in terms of the way that I'm scared. And right the way, now. like how it's moving. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. That girl looks familiar. And now we're bringing yeah. that into it. This is also how you know, like, when a movie's like really gripping, it's like when we're shutting the fuck up. Well, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is like the shot that's on the poster. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Damn, that's pretty sick. So good. Get to fucking work. Yeah. Like, yeah. That guy fucks. <laughs> Finally one for the spooky boys. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be helpful if I gave you some background on the different personalities for Reagan has manifest. So far I'd say there seem to be three. She's convinced there is only one. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there. You're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet fives, a ten is talking. <laughs> <laughs> This is her exorcism fur? What are we doing here? It's freezing in oh, there. Oh, it's cold. That's right, yeah. Again, they legitimately, like, they literally refrigerated the fucking set. Oh, that's awesome. To, to get it so it was cold. See, that's another thing. This movie definitely, what is it, aim small, miss small kind yeah. of thing? Mm -hmm. The practical effects have been really compelling. Yeah. And, and especially for a movie that's almost fucking, that's basically that's 50, 50 years, years old. old, yeah. Almost, no, literally exactly 50 years old. There you go. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah. What a day! Right. Like, what a day! Ooh. Oh. oh my god. Save your son, who places your trust in thee, my God. Be up to her, O Lord, a fortified tower. In the, face of the, the young priest is so expressive. He's yeah. so good. He's scared shitless. Yeah. And he's like looking at the old one. Yeah. He's looking for leadership on this. Yeah. Amen. Oh, man. Man. Father Carlos. Father Carlos. Line. Yeah. Oh. 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 Ah. How did they even pump that out of her? I don't know. They had, they had like this weird like a thing that they had something? to put out, like literally to like sit in their mouth and shit. Like. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. It is he who commands you by this sign of the Holy Cross. Of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The finger of the human race. By the judge of the Oh shit. Uh, the power of Christ compels you. Ooh, the power ooh. of Christ compels you. 
really impressive that it's you can't see the wires and yeah. like that done like <laughs> Next time I go on a bad trip, I need you guys to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> loose oh it's a snake dick <laughs> old snake dick old snakey dick also just cool like visual storytelling where they had to cover like yeah, that's... the bed post with like like soften him up so she wouldn't do anything to him yeah or, like, order herself herself <laughs> I need a cigarette. <laughs> How's that, uh, you know, doubt in your faith going? Yeah, right. You know? <laughs> cool shot. Or two. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, we never get a good connection here. And it's because it's happening with like the 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 most purely innocent thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, that's the well, and like insofar that the demon has a personality or an identity, it's extremely vulgar, sexual, yeah. impulsive, debasing, yeah. disgusting. And so yeah. you see in human form, right? Something gross. You know. Oh, dude. Oh, that's so sad. Right. The devil would bring him his loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. And show it to him. Mm -hmm. Dimi, why you do this to me? Oh, damn. Right? Please, Dimi. But do you remember the old priest was like, just do not listen to yeah, it. Yeah, you can't. It just lies. You don't play, mother! Don't listen. Why, Dimi? Get out. You're too weak for this. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I mean... <laughs> Like but it's, it's getting to him yeah. in, in a way. Yeah, you know, dude, like, he does not look well. Right. Even like the hands, though. Like the hands look so yeah. good. Like with, like with selling On the, the old person makeup yeah. shit, too. Like You said he's 40 in this role? He's 41 or something Jesus like that. Jesus Christ. Which is fucking nuts. Do you think that they have renter's insurance? <laughs> 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 Angel Perez asking the important questions. Yeah. God damn it. I think Warner Brothers got it covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, 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 right. Is she gonna die? Girl, she's already dead. <laughs> yeah. That would be good at this point, right? Like. No. That kind of almost emboldened him a little bit. Cause it's, yeah. like one of the, it's like where this it's it's like where he can this is something where he could contribute to somebody not dying and yeah, saving yeah. someone, which is like the whole mother stuff. Instead of him miring on his loss, yeah. he can focus on mm -hmm. what he can still do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. She killed him. You <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh. Remember the necklace falling? Yeah. Oh, no. Take me. Oh, no. Oh. He's a real G, man. Damn. Whoa. Ugh. The cuts in this movie are s brutal. Awesome. They're yeah, so they're, they're so. Like, but there's also like an efficiency, like like it's so stark that it has to be different. That time has yeah. to have passed. Yeah. You know, and like it's it's how you get like a movie that feels this kind of rich and like exhausting. I I get what you mean. There's you know what an I'm economy saying? to yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We say it, that. I mean, we say that all the time when we watch a real special one. Yeah, yeah those cuts keep taking the air out of my lungs. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm just it, like, Ugh. It, yeah, like, well, no, no, because they'll, they'll go like, like they'll, <sighs> and then you're done, you know. Keep that shit. 
Imagine giving the last rites to your friend at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, that right. They fell down. There's a controversial fucking uh, directing choice that Freakin made with that scene specifically that we'll talk about. Okay. Honey, this is Father Dyer. Hi, Father. And she's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. All right, we get one Goodbye. moment of joy. Right. <laughs> is she fine? She's a little marked up. You know. It's like she doesn't remember any of it, but she sees that, and that's yeah. where that kind of... All done without dialogue and without, you Really know. simple, yeah. yeah. I thought you'd like to keep this. Why don't you keep it? Oh, that's Absolutely. the window. Right. It would I'll go never around. take those stairs. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, I'm taking the long way around every time, man. Like. Father Dyer, you go to films? Father Ring Heights. Who's in it? Heathcliff, Jackie Gleason, and in the role of Catherine Earnshaw, Lucille Ball. I do not get what the fuck that is a reference to. Another one. It, those are a bunch of characters. Those are a bunch of actors that aren't typically known for their dramatic role. Like Lucille Ball is a comedian. Yes. Jackie Gleason is a good actor, but but primarily known as like. Oh, a and Wuthering Heights is a more dramatic. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Right. I did not. No, 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 no. It's a fucking reference from 1973. God. Boom. Release me. Release me. <laughs> Jesus. You literally, you literally look like as you float away. Like, <laughs> Gentlemen. Yes. The, 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 the two boys who haven't seen it, what did we think of The Exorcist? Go, um, go. I can breathe again, which is nice. <laughs> Very nice, um, right? I fucking loved it. Yeah. I think I saw a lot of little homages, um, not like referenced in the future, like the Conjuring one with like the yeah. dresser falling over and stuff like that. I just thought it was really entertaining. Also, they get into it. Like at first there is just like the little talking, getting to know people, but after that, like every scene has something different. Mm. And I love that. Yeah. yeah, it accelerates by the end, right? Well, we were talking about um, To Live and Die in L.A. The one th now that I've kind of rewatched this, and we kind of talked about how To Live and Die in L.A., like how sometimes some movies will, they'll have like, it'll kind of go in, in the middle, kind of have the big sort of like, uh, like the big kind of showstopper sequence or whatever, and then kind of recede a little bit. Yeah. And this is just nope. fucking nope. straight, straight up. Like, and it doesn't really ever stop like accelerating. And the the buildup is so long and yeah. so plotting and so like unnerving. Mm. Because like I said, we've mentioned it several times, the amount of time and attention this movie gives to trying to explain these events in a rational, non-demonic way yeah. is a lot and it's so sincere yeah. that by the time you get to the end you're just like Jesus you feel it makes it feel more real I guess yeah. in a sense right rather yeah. than you just see something uncomfortable and you're like oh call a priest you, or yeah you know? or like you're, you're call you're you're going straight to exorcism type stuff like way early on like it takes almost like I want to say like before that you even hear the word exorcism, like at least 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. Like halfway through, like we, we've exhausted. Now we know that the movie's called The Exorcist and we know kind of what's coming and she'll, that's what we you were struggling with. You're like, motherfucker, <laughs> like, what more do you need to Get know? <laughs> but yeah, but it, it is, and I think that it's, that is the master stroke like of, hey. of the, yeah, of, of, of like William Peter Blatty being like, I want like William Freak. I, I want this filmmaker He's, to kind of to, to like handle this. Did you know a very I mean? good job. Yeah, that, yeah. Man. Oh yeah. I mean like, how about how about you, man? I enjoyed it immensely. Um, I, I don't care for horror films. I know I keep talking about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But this feels like something that was extremely well done. Uh, just really rewarding, very scary. Mm. It wasn't cheap. Like a lot of horror films feel like they're just kind of macabre, grotesque, cheap tricks yeah. that they throw at you yeah. and this felt very earned and like I said slow and by the time you're almost dreading finding out the truth because yeah. like, you, you love the girl I liked the girl yeah I, yeah I felt like we knew a little bit about her and watching her go through all those surgeries and stuff I was like oh god baby girl yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry and then yeah. it just gets worse yeah well, there, and worse well there's like well there's like there's a there's a it's like a different 
type of horror that you're experiencing before we get to the actual the, the big like the big stuff the floating shit yeah like, everything you know what i mean like the um yeah i mean like yeah revisiting it it's it's i mean i was, I was literally getting chills like yeah. at the end of some of those scenes and shit you know and it, and it is it's still like i'm still going like, you know what I mean? I'm, you know, it's still it's still getting me there and everything like that. How about how about you, Alex? Yeah, Going there are definitely things I forgot since I've seen it that mm. just kind of helped me buy into it. Like you're saying, you you bought into it. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you like uh, you really wouldn't be as invested. Mm. Um, it was cool to still get drawn in after having haven't seen it for so long. I think I think the biggest thing that stood out that I didn't remember were the cutaways to the demon's face, which. Um, yeah, I'll like the, the, the little the little flashes yeah. that just kind of suppose that <laughs> the presence of the yeah. Demon. So the beer yeah. I was talking about is called Pazuzu's Petals, and I believe that's the name of the demon. Pazuzu, Pazuzu. yeah, Pazuzu, 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 spe yeah. Spe specifically. <laughs> it's a, a terrible. It's a terrible name. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't bring it. No, up. no, no. <laughs> they literally no because in the second one, the heretic, like there's literally like where they kind of profile, at least in part, the. African exorcism that that Father Dyer does like and it's not played by the same actor it's like a different different dude it's like it's it was like laughed out of the fucking movie theater yeah. and shit like that like but it is but there's like literally a part where like like there's like, like this 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 little like this little kid is like I am Pazuzu <laughs> like it just does not work you know what I mean like and yeah, I think that I, I just think it's like as far as just like the instincts of like what makes something unnerving, unsettling, yeah. and like again, like we talked about it before, like the lack of score, yeah, helps or the movie. extremely minimal. Very, yeah, yeah, like paper thin score. Yeah, like but I think that it, it that's the same kind of thing where it when you do that, it almost you feel I think a lot more present in the moment because yeah. like you're there like whereas because like you know music in movies is there to kind of manipulate you in, in a certain way like emotionally now i think that's a very cynical way to put it because i think obviously there is absolutely a fucking fantastic ways that you can utilize music in, in a horror in a horror film and there's plenty of, of examples um but i think it's also something to be said for just stripping that shit away and yeah. just kind of putting you in that room. You can hear the wheezing. You can hear the floor creaking. You can hear all that type of stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how there was like one scene and when she was first starting to go into Pazuzu, mm. <laughs> but where it, she hadn't like completely, you know, started dripping goo and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. But they shot a lot of the violence and like her jerking motions in the room in a really tight and often confusing manner. So yeah. you couldn't exactly tell mm -hmm. like what was going on. Sure. And it felt like that made it even scarier because mm. you're not even able to visually clock the events in an objective way. Yeah. It's just more like flashes of like flying limbs, you know, and like- Chaos. Yeah, yeah Chaos. which is scary. It's yep. scary to see Absolutely. that, you know? Yeah, yeah, and like with a lot of those scenes though, it's those cuts we kept talking about. Like it would be that, they would cut to him like running in a track or cut <laughs> right. to someone else. Yeah. Or like cut to where they're in that big room and talk talking about what's yeah. going on and stuff and so it was like, like that like up that ebb and flow of like holy shit this is happening but this is about to those this other story is about to converge with that one right yeah you know so someone i think it was you Sean it said that people have seen this film and thought of it as funny you know, yeah. like laughing at it, and yeah. I, I understand that. Some, yeah, I someone mean, throws up green goo. Like I get, yeah. you know, it's like, yeah, it's silly. In That's some been made into a gag a trillion times, like in the aftermath of it. What, what I'll say is that I think that this is a film that will not be very affecting to you if you're not paying very strong, dialed in attention to it. Mm. If you're on your damn phone, you know, <laughs> what I mean? you're, you're, you're not gonna get into this because I just sat my fucking fat ass down yeah. and I took this seriously from yeah. the beginning and I feel like I was rewarded for that. It was very, very good. Yeah, I think what, and I, I think there is like a, a, probably like a bit of a, a modern, like just kind of more heightened sensibility of like, all of horror movies that I think there might be that people just might be accustomed to to that's what they need from a horror movie they need a horror movie that's kind of hitting them with something like pretty crazy pretty quick you know yeah. and stuff and and this is about a slow ascent you know what I mean and like when you when it gets crazy it gets crazy girl is fucking stabbing herself <laughs> like like saying like the most awful fucking like lascivious shit ever and yeah. like 
and the doors are slamming and shit's going down and all this other stuff. I mean, like there is, we were, there was a, a couple of, we'll do like a little, uh, uh, first off, I also, we'll, we'll do the performances and then we'll talk about some of the little factoids that are interesting. Like the, the performances are off their ass. Oh, incredible. Yeah. yeah. Like across the board, like of all of the principles, like they're just, it's a, it's a good like lightning in a bottle where everybody kind of just has a really good handle on the, on like, what they're doing, the type of performance they need to put in. Mm. I mean, like when you said the name of the child actor earlier, Linda I Blair. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I don't think I've ever. Have you guys ever seen a better performance from a child that age in a film? I mean, I like mean, I think maybe the only other one that I can sense? think of that. Yeah, Haley Joel. Yeah, yeah, yeah Six right? Sense. Maybe, I think maybe sure. would be another one. I think that's up there. I mean, like, but as far as certainly within horror films, like, like that's like the, that's like the two. She just did Up such there. a good job as this lovable little goofy girl at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So cherubic. Yeah. You know, just so innocent looking. Yep. And then the end of it, I know that they did a lot of voiceover for it, mm. but it was still like, I was scared looking at that little bitch. But you know? she was like, like <laughs> but she's like performing it and they were, do I can't remember the name of the actress like off top, like, but there is, they use like kind of one, Kind of very specific act, like actress, to do like a lot of a lot of the lower voiceovers yeah. that they did and shit like that, and like they matched it really well, and it's just, yeah, man, like the, when they come and it's like, what an excellent day for an exorcism, and just like, oh, shit. <laughs> like I mean, like it, 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 it's 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 I think the yeah, I mean, she was great. Ellen Bernstein is fucking fantastic. The mom, the mom yeah. is really Which good. She like went through some emotional trauma. Like it was crazy because I would never look at my daughter the same way again. Yeah, like, right. It'd be, it'd be so hard. Yeah. yeah, and then also just like her getting her face pushed in there while she's saying the most Oh my shit. God. Yeah, dude. And like, just like for a mother to experience that, that's like crazy. Yeah, oh. it's gonna it, it's, just, it's gonna be a wild couple of Thanksgivings for sure. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna call that psychiatrist again. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, and they start turn. praying just be yeah, like, yeah, no, no, okay? like the, now, now for the therapy. Like, you know what I mean? Now yeah. for that shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think that like, yeah, I, I the like what the movie asks of the of the actors and just like how they're able to bring it and to sell it. Yeah. And it's about yeah. it's, and you, it's, it's a what's that? I was you, you can see how how this is wearing on on each yes. Yeah. like yeah the exhaustion of everyone. Yeah, yes. like, mm -hmm. you can just see it getting heavier and heavier for them. And in the makeup was great too. Like you can see mm. you can see how stressed and. And like in horrible, just the mom was in, and yeah, you know, in the priest, just you can see like you can feel the emotional gravity of like, like everything he's going through, plus having to deal with this, and then just like everyone's exhausted, everyone's fucking yeah. ready to for it to be. And over. this is and this is also and there's, good job there's, there's two different cuts of the movie. There's like the original theatrical cut, and then there's um and then there's this one which is was billed. It was real. It was re-released in theaters in like 2000. So the first time that I saw it was in a, was in the movie okay. theater, which was pretty, which was a great way to a great way to see yeah. this movie, obviously. Um, but uh, and so they added like a couple of couple of new things. The only two ones that I know that for a fact that are fucking new is that scene where, because in the original cut. It's just where they're kind of sitting on two different parts of the stairs, mm -hmm. and they're just like, yeah, they're just fucking spent. And in, in the in the original one, it's just that shot, and then they go back to it, which I think is there's an economy to yeah. how the thing. But like, but then, but they added the. It was actually a really cool thing, like because they had, you know, uh, what was it like, uh, freaking, you know, Blatty had been like, I I really want you to put that one that them talking about why this girl, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's really important, well, you know what I mean? Like, uh, not to be academic sure. about it, but I think that's like the like moral thesis of the film, if you take demonic possession seriously, yeah. right? Which yeah. is that the reason that this the devil does this is because it perverts and distorts and makes grotesque this human thing to make us believe we don't deserve God, that we're that we're just bad, vulgar, yeah. Yeah. disgusting things. If this can be corrupted, if this can be a yeah. vessel for that, then what the fuck am I? Yeah, because yeah. that piggybacks off of the, uh, what, what's the um, younger uh, priest's name? Uh, Karis. 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 Father Karis, yeah. Losing his faith, did he get it? Like, did he? Did this? Did this build I his mean, faith? Yeah, like, like, clearly. Did you, you know know. Like, did you hear me earlier? I was like, yeah, God's real and he fucking hates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this guy's like, fuck. Yeah. I guess 
and and he and he did, and again Jason Miller it, oh, fantastic like he's he's so good like at wearing all of that all of that you can already tell as soon as you see him that something's really weighing yeah, on the guy yeah. and then that just kind of increases and then yeah. It, like I think, yeah, I, I never really clocked it, but she comes in, she's like, is she gonna die? And he's like, and after just having this kind of, this this run in with his mother, you right. know what I mean? Like, and knowing that it's a lie, knowing that it's whatever, he goes like, and he's just like, no, she's not. Yeah. And then he goes up there. He made and the then decision he, to do that. Exactly, right and then, then, like, and then that's what makes it, it's such a, it's such a roller coaster once, like, he's like, come, he's like, he's like, Take yeah. me, come yep. to me, yeah. and then he goes up for there, and then they do like that really cool, really great morph back yeah. into it. Yeah, really, yeah, quick. He's like, really quick. He's, yeah, he, it's almost like I feel like uh, he that he scene, won over the devil yeah, the, for a second. He wanted to go back into the girl, and he's yep. like, "Nope, I'm fucking taking you down." With yeah, yeah, me. exactly. That was, yeah, the wind. so that was crazy. Super powerful. You know? And then like, that and then you also scene. like, you're like. Like I don't think you're like shit. Did that happen to Burke? And I don't think that that's what happened. I think I think like you know like yeah. I think it was like whatever. Uh, yeah, she, but, she KO'd him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's like even though he, that guy didn't seem like he he was, he was such the a like, little like, like, like little waste it. It's like it's like you can do that pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know. It's like what are you doing, darling? Oh, you're breaking my neck. Oh, you're boom, <laughs> like, 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Um, a comment on on what you were saying about him making the choice to say come into me and then sacrificing himself yeah this film would have been kind of dumb if it ended with the power of Christ, you know oh my god and then the kids just fine everyone like shakes a hand and leaves yeah. but by like refocusing the dramatic weight on him yeah and his sacrifice and his loss yeah it's yeah. like even if you don't take fucking exorcism seriously which no disrespect no, 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 no. yeah I, I don't right <laughs> right like it's still a great story because it's like wow this guy loved or cared about her enough mm. that he made this real sacrifice and that connects her. with him and his friend at the end where he's like yeah just mm. squeezing dude for that the... was heavy that was... yeah that was imagine yeah. being like finding your friend at the bottom of a stairwell Delivering your last rites and you can't even turn him over because yeah. Lord knows. And me. one of the last Lord scenes that we, one of the last scenes that we saw him in was him taking care of him, was him putting him in the bed and taking yeah. off his shoes. Yeah, and stuff. And it's like kind of like this like weird kind of c continuing to be like a caretaker. Yeah. So that scene specifically. So now we'll get into some of the that scene specific. So. Um, we've talked about what a madman fucking William, uh, <laughs> William Freakin, Freakin <laughs> is, the director and shit, and this is like some of that old school, like, is this, was this necessary? Is this like, what is, you know, like, you get into kind of like the Kubrick, Shelley Duvall, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, I guess that one actor who, who was giving him the last rites was having a hard time kind of getting emotionally to the place like that he needed to, that they needed to be and it was outside there's tons of people over there the pressure's on and then so they're getting ready to go they're getting ready to set up and he's like and he, and he has a guy's like come here and just fucking belts him across the thing <laughs> and then just goes and then just goes go and then like and the guy says like when he, he was like when you see my hand like that's from adrenaline and yeah. the tears are there because like I'm you know <laughs> and it's <laughs> in front of everybody like you know what I mean like and it's one of those things where it's like it's hard what a guy it, no I mean like no no crazy shit like fucking like like lighting off firecrackers on set keeping people on edge yeah, and shit like sure. that it's like this stuff where I think that there's been a really healthy conversation about like just other ways to direct fucking actors, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I, like, I mean, it's it's one of those things where it's like the 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 other side is like you can't argue with results. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, but like it, it's it's one of those. But you know, it, it's it depends on. Can't argue with results. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's one of those things where it's just it is a part of yeah. it is part of the lore of the movie. Right. It exists, and I think that. I do appreciate that there's been like maybe a little bit of a maybe like a, a re-examination of stuff because I know that like like sit like cinema head Sean just going into film school is like yeah it's the fucking coolest fucking thing right you know what I mean? yeah. like, like we're just like you whatever it takes to get the shot done but it's like these are other human beings like, yes like, what's this like, what's you know, this what is this waiver of any uh, physical <laughs> yeah no shit you know what I mean? like yeah a hundred percent well freaking I mean, like, I mean like there's that there's like the scene when when um when Ellen Bernstein gives gets like yanked across the fucking ground and like gets thrown into like the yeah. corner and then the thing comes at her like 
you know, they it, that was just like a, a couple of guys just yanking her on a pulley, and she's like, "All right, can, you guys are really this is getting to be a lot." Like, you know, can yeah. you guys go like a little? Softer? You're hurting me, right? And then and then like and then freaking was just like, he was like, "Do it double as hard." <laughs> and that's the one that they. What a guy! No, I mean like it's not. <laughs> Rest in peace, William Freak. No, no, no. I mean like I think I think I think he is he is and and I, he is like part scoundrel. I think, yeah. like, like you know like I think that it is it, like and that's that's an element of some of that fucking you know some of just that kind of crazy auteur you know kind of theory shit that just was very pervasive in the era and yeah. like and like. Like you know, I I that is not how I would direct a film. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm like, not I, trying to trivialize the obvious like uh, level headedness no, that you're no. bringing to this issue. Yeah, I, it's just like in his way. But he just died, and we watched all those videos of him being a massive messy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and just hearing these stories, I'm like, the world lost a real one. <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, and then like, and then I'm trying to think about like, oh, okay, last one. This is the craziest one. So there was. So when they were doing that one horrifying fucking like um, uh, cat scan early, yes, like like pr pr like uh, like caveman cat like caveman cat scan, dun, 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 dude, like it, just the sound design of that, dun, dun, yeah. dun, 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 like the, like all the so but the guy is like wheeling him out. He noticed those are all all those people that were in that were doing that that whole um, that procedure were real techs. Real yeah. techs, real workers, Doctors. like at the hospital and yeah. shit. The guy, except for like, so the guy with the the assistant who had like the studded like bracelet or whatever, just kind of asked about it and he was just like, oh, like that's, you know, and then somebody kind of said like, well actually, yeah, like, so that means that he's, that's like a sign that he like um, is gay and he goes to like leather clubs and stuff like that or oh, whatever. Oh, wow. And then there's a movie that he eventually, so, and then, all, so a couple years later, like, you know, they're kind of doing the whole thing. They start, he starts doing research on this movie called Cruising, starring Al Pacino, who is about a cop that has to go undercover because there's a, there's a person who is killing gay men in like leather, like in like leather, underground leather clubs okay. in, in, yeah. in New York. And he goes like, who, but, but remember that one guy, do you have the name for that one guy who had that one thing? He's thinking that he's going to be like, uh, you know, like, you know, maybe uh, he can get some uh, some research done with, sure. you know, done with him or whatever it is. Come to find out that guy was a serial killer. Five to six people picked up and like murdered. Like there's a whole thing. That dude at that point had probably killed like two or three people. When he was on the the set of on the set of The Exorcist, I want to go home. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like yeah. fucking crazy. You know what I mean? Like yeah, and so like and, and like it, that that's like that that was the, was he like, the guy that did the needle thing and it, was uh, that yeah, I think it might have it might have been him. I, I can't remember. I, don't, exactly, I was but, looking for the brace. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it, so. it, it's once once you peep it, it you'll it, it's there for sure. Because I remember I, like I I heard I, I watched some behind the scenes stuff. Um, and and they laid that one out, and it's it's just it, and it's like yeah, it's like a real he's like a Dang. real deal, Fuck. yeah, crazy, yeah, really fucking nuts. I mean like, um, but yeah, so like so the, those are like kind of like the three like like super big like kind of things. But yeah, it's just I don't know, it's it's just a you know we've talked about this, so you're you're not a horror hound, but I think it's like when a movie is. Like in like you, it's the top, it's the tip top shelf of filmmaking has to be done if you're gonna like, uh, like really appreciate that shit. Yeah, well, you know as a I mean? fancy For lad with part. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. Well, that's true. I mean, like, that's like when we went and saw The Shining. It's like sort yeah. of like where it's like truly or, great uh, filmmaking. Like, or um, this reminded me quite a bit of Hereditary. Big time. Uh, yeah, you can see the influence there, which is again either Aster or Eggers. I can't recall which. But Aster. Both excellent Aster. directors. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what a fucking film. Angel, you're the act... So I'm the horror baby, you're the horror daddy. Uh, if you <laughs> out of the two of us. I mean, where do you put this in the big picture? I'm a spooky boy. I love the spooky movies, kind of. I don't know. Panorama. I've actually watched a lot of Possession horror movies. Yeah. Okay. I do love them. Um, as of recently... Besides all of the extra ones, like the first Conjuring, I was like, damn, they finally sure. did a fucking Exorcist movie correctly. Not ever having watched that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, finally. And right, right, like, right. There doesn't even have to be like steps in between. It can yeah. just be like this. Is and the, like con the, the conjuring is spaces. the conjuring is, yeah. a, is a lot of fun. It's a fun. It's a it's a big fun crowd pleaser of a fucking horror film. But, but like, how does this one? Stack I mean, this up one like that? met my expectations. Sometimes I get a little weary about like. Um, older like films yeah for sure just because i watched rosemary's baby like the original one uh-huh i did not like that didn't go for, didn't no. go for and it everyone i was think... like this is a classic this is so good like you're gonna love it yeah and it was just like this is it just like, didn't hit yeah it was just like reason. boring yeah for sure but this like kept me in the whole time it like exceeded any expectation i had all of the scenes that like i would have recognized with more context were like way scarier. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Like, yeah. overall ten out of ten. Smash. Yeah. Fantastic. Hell yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I guess we can kinda of, we can start to kinda of go through the we can we can start grading this this thing. We'll start down the line. How about you? What, what grade I, you giving it? I mean, I'm gonna have to give this a, a A. Yeah. <laughs> a A. 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 Yeah, Canadian Alex. A. Over yeah, there. <laughs> yeah. I, like I said, it, it's it's been a lot. It's been a, I probably like you, Sean. I haven't seen it in probably over ten years. It, yeah, I want to say like eight to, to eight to twelve years. Or it's something been like that, that I, it. It was, it was cool to see it and notice things that I didn't remember really. Mm. Uh, and yeah, it's strong, still good, beautiful shot. The cuts and. The like editing, just be, just it's edited off its little, ass. Yeah. Just from really what weird. I've learned from you and like other films you've watched, like the 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 cuts I think help the pace. Yeah. And help with like the the gravity of like the like everyone's uh, performance. Yeah. I, I, I was, For yeah, sure. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. And all, yeah, and also some of the editing, like where it's like it also there's like a forward momentum, like where. It's it, it's almost like we see like this extraordinary fucking like thing like this, you know, she come, like her her the whites of her eyes are only showing and, she, and like her shit's like oh like, yeah expanding like a fucking yeah. like like you know like a some like a, like a frog. bullfrog or some shit like that and like and then like guys like on a jog like <laughs> like like this is this is literally what's happening in this space and like yeah. it, it's and the waiting. matter of fact of it is yeah. kind of you know it's, it, it's, it's a it's, juxtaposition between the supernatural and then the mundane yeah that makes the supernatural part feel yeah. more believable exactly because it like puts it back into this real world absolutely no. angel what great what grade you, what grade you given this one schoolmaster oh i thought we were just doing our own scales i was a 10 out of 10 this ten is ten, ten, i heard a thumbs up yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's his first manly movie like, Monday. We will second call Brian Brian's end up, grades games. We'll typically end up like on, on, a, on like a, on a letter grade or whatever. Oh, but okay, a ten out of ten yeah. sounds like an A plus. Uh, that's a, that is an A plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah <laughs> absolutely. No, 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 absolutely, one hundred percent. How about you, Scott? A minus. Uh, yeah. I think it's much better than I thought it would be. I mm -hmm. think it's. It's it's very powerful, I think, for a lot of reasons. But one of them that stuck with me is that by the time the Jeopardy is introduced, the scary, the thing, the peril, whatever, I know all the main characters, and I feel like I could describe them to yeah. my friends if I needed to. Yeah. And so their sense of like degradation and wearing down and mm. fear and panic just mattered a lot. Mm. Um, yeah, I give it a, a solid A minus. I think it's very good. I w I would say that I do think some of the um, Spooky effects and whatever they're on whole very good, but yeah, some yeah. of them I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 the, maybe the, maybe I'm like spoiled now. It's a 50 year old film. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, There's what gonna be like no, I, no, no. I, I that doesn't even look real. <laughs> yeah. No, I do think that there's a there's a type. I think maybe like it, I think the like the like when they end on it, it's good. The the head turning all the way around is like the one where I'm just like, like it's iconic, obviously. Yeah. Like the visual of it is iconic, but it, I think it, there, there's an element of it that I think, <laughs> like you're like, oh, okay, cool. Like they we gotta, gotta get they George gotta... Lucas in there to punch up The Exorcist with some special. <laughs> yeah. Effects. Well, what we need to do is like, yeah, oh, okay, no, and then like they, they cut to like they're doing the exorcism, and then there's just like an alien man yeah, walking in the, the back of the like. <laughs> 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 yeah, or whatever the fuck it is. It's like, oh no, we need it. We need a job of the hut, like crawling across the fucking That's back. That's Plo Koon. Yeah, He's right. a <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, yeah. And Shani, the, what about you? No, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, this is an A film. I mean, like, yeah. it's, it's it's there's it it is not just like a great like scary movie. It's just a great movie. I think like for ever, for all the reasons that we talked about, and also the fact that like how like effectively and like just kind of effortlessly the movie clues you in on 
all of the kind of emotional states of the like where the characters are. Yes. Like we know And they're like, all bad. Yeah, they're all like they're all having a hard time, you know, like and, and, like, and <laughs> they're having a rough go of it, you know, like but like it's a Tuesday. Do, and yeah, I, so, well, yeah, no, I mean like and and it's like cause it's also it we talk about this like when it comes to like action scenes too. Like where you I can watch like the most lavishly produced fucking like action sequence in a movie that I don't really give a fuck about the characters and it'll just kind of wash over me. Like, not to say that this wouldn't be scary having, not having been clued into the emotional, like, struggles of the characters, but we know that because they were able to drive home so well, and, yeah. like, his, str his struggles with his mother, yeah. like, the fact that, like, just the, you know, f uh, Father uh, Merrick is getting, he's just getting older yeah. and shit like that, you know, the things that the mother's gone through. Going through a divorce. You know, everything like that, mom. like all that type of shit. And then like the way, like us knowing and feeling that, like it, it only heightens and because like, damn, like he's dealing with a fucking crazy fucking like, you know, pea soups, like, you know, spitting, spitting crazy bitch down here. Also with the grief, the survivor's guilt of his mother. That is being played upon by the devil. With the thing yeah. and like, it, it just know? makes it hit that much harder. Yes, you know I, agree. I, mean? like, so, I agree. And so, and so I think that- You're yeah, emotionally it's invested, like, with him. Yeah. yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's just like, it's, it, it, it's always a treat to, watch like a classic movie like do its thing and work oh, yeah. and shit like that and so I don't know if you guys highly like, recommended weird I mean yeah you know? yeah I mean I was miserable you can right? be too, <laughs> yeah, you, you can know? see why you know but you did but, it I but did. I do think that like yeah but I think so but again strong, yeah and so we also we want to say thank you for Angel for joining yeah. us yeah. the uh the first not definitely not going to be the last we got to get you we got to get you get you in here for a couple more and stuff like that so I think this is the this is again we, we've done some pretty good spooky like like movies on Manly Movie Monday and there's a couple that I'm thinking of like have you guys seen Event Horizon is that the space one? Yes. Yeah. I think I have. Okay. And I think I read it as a kid. Oh, really? it's a Michael Crichton book. Uh, no, it's no, a. No, am I thinking of Sphere? I can't remember. You might. Or no, you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Andromeda you're thinking, Strain or something. Uh, you're thinking of what was it like? It's. I know. I know. I think I know. Okay. What, no, what yeah. type of, I just the, saw it the other day. It was on the background. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, no, it, but like, great. but that, but maybe that, that's, that's like another one. one that I could think of that could kind of go in there. And there's like, I'm sure that there's a handful of others that we can think of. But that'll be that'll be ooh, that could be a fun one. Like that'll be for next year though, because we're closing the book on the spooky season uh -huh. for Manly Movie Monday. We had, I mean, like we had American Werewolf in London, and then this one, two ones that ain't ain't too shab, not too shabby, I would say for this. Uh, a ho uh, Halloween season for 2023, um, but uh, I don't know. I'm ready. To, we got a bunch of more stuff that we're going to be getting into. Looking forward to it. Oh yeah, dude, absolutely. And we appreciate you guys very much for hanging out with us over here on Manly Movie Money. If you guys enjoyed yourselves on this reaction, you guys want to see the full and uncut version, and you guys also want to check out a bunch of our backlog and get to see it before anyone else does. Um, also, a bunch of different polls that you guys can do to tell us like what movies to watch and shit. You can get all of that stuff on our Patreon. The links in the top end comment or the description below. It's the best way to support the channel, the best way to support Manly Movie Mondays. Um, we thank you guys very much for hanging out with us. You gotta click that link in the top end comment in the description below. Head on over there, feature film tier. That gets you all of that stuff over there. But if you can't do that, hit that like, that subscribe. Um, Smash it. Spew. Um, <laughs> uh, like, a, a, like a column of green thing to Goo. hit that button, to ring that bell that bell thingy over there for notification. <laughs> <laughs> you go over there, like, for sure, um, uh, because, like, I, we, it, it's, the, it's the cheapest and best way to support the channel if you guys got the time and the inclination to do so. We thank you guys very much for hanging out with us, and we'll check y'all later. Bye. Ciao.